Hey folks, my name is Ryan Guy and I'm the Director of Forensics at Modesto Junior College. I end up tabbing a lot of tournaments and so I wanted to show you a couple of things that are really helpful for those of us that run tournaments on tabroom.com. Two things that I want to go over today is how to fill out a judging paradigm and how to set your conflicts on tabroom.com. So first, your judging paradigm. Once you've logged in to tabroom.com, it's useful to go ahead and navigate to the sidebar. You'll notice that over in the sidebar, there is some information about upcoming rounds, history of rounds that you've lost. But on the second bar here, there's two buttons that are going to be important to us, the conflict button and the paradigm button. First, let's take a look at the paradigm button. When you click the paradigm button, it allows you to fill out your judging paradigm. Your judging paradigm or judging philosophy is really important because it gives some information about your background and what you're looking to see in a debate round. Minimally, you should put a little bit of information into this box about what your experience is with debate, as well as any preferences that you may have regarding the style or form of the debates that you watch. If you're interested in what other judges have listed on their paradigm, you can just click the paradigm button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and and read some paradigms. If you'd like to read mine, you can search for Ryan Guy and I should come up under Modesto Junior College so that you can see some of the things that I have written. Now let's talk a little bit about entering conflict. If you click your email address, it'll take you back to the main page and then you can go ahead and click on the conflicts button. Entering your conflicts is really helpful for Tabroom staff because it ensures that we code you off students that you shouldn't be judging, specifically students that you may have coached or worked with before. Now there's a couple ways that you can go about doing this. First, over on the left hand side you can enter a personal conflict, which means that you can search for a student either by their last name or their email address as long as you're searching with the email address that they use to create their taproom.com account. Let's say for example that I wanted to code myself off my former student and friend Scott Lasco. Since I coached him when he was at Chico State and have worked with him uh, since, and, and since he's a coach now and probably shouldn't be debating, I'm going to go ahead and look him up and add him to my list of conflicts. So I start by typing in his last name, and then click search. You can see that he came up here in the search, in the search engine and it's listed all the institutions that he has either worked for or debated for. And all I have to do now is click the conflict button and boom, I'll never be scheduled to watch him in a round. Additionally, it's possible to add a school conflict. Now I'm far enough out to go ahead and judge students that debate for my alma mater at Chico State. That said, if I wasn't far enough out, I could look that school up and I could code myself off of everyone from that program. So let's go ahead and try that. All right, great, you can see that two schools came up, but I'm pretty sure it's the CSU Chico in California. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that button, and now I'll never be assigned to judge a round from, with any student from California State University Chico. Well, that wraps up my tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and leave them down in the comments, and I'll be happy to try to respond to those. And I hope you all have a good uh, time judging, and thanks for watching this video.